Hey guys, welcome to How to Coffee. Welcome to the East BRA Coffee House. I'm at Mike. Today, what temperature to brew your coffee at? Well, it's very simple. Right off the bat, it's 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, you want to be within a few degrees Fahrenheit of 200 degrees. Here's why. This is when you're making hot coffee, of course, and the hot water extracts the flavor out of the coffee. It breaks down chemical bonds within the coffee to extract the flavor. So that's why you could not brew good coffee at, say, room temperature or 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, our professional Fedco brewer here at the shop, which is the case in those specialty coffee shops, brews at 200 degrees, and it keeps the temperature basically the whole way through the cycle. Now, if you are making a pour over at home, most of them have this temperature gauge on it. I like to go around 205 when it comes to a pour over because actually when you, you, know, you lose some of that temperature drop as you pour it in, swirl it around, goes through the gooseneck. So I like to be a little bit warmer, I would say, when it comes to a pour over to get it really close to 200. Either way, within a few degrees, you'll be good. And again, most of them actually have a temperature gauge at the top that says anywhere between 195 and 205. Pour overs, I try to be slightly more warm, around 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Finally, you should know if you brew at home, uh, cheaper coffee pots, ones you can get on Amazon or at Walmart for $40. They have a lot of plastic parts, so they don't hold the temperature the whole way through. At home, we have a Breville Precision Brewer. That is probably one of the best coffee uh, home coffee makers you can get. It has very high-end uh, interior equipment, metal, and it keeps the coffee, the temperature of the coffee consistent. And I can actually notice the difference on the taste, but just keep that in mind. That is probably the main difference in price when it comes to home coffee makers, drip coffee makers, is the quality of the components, which keep the temperature more precise. All right, guys, hope you learned something. We'll talk to you soon. Make sure you subscribe for more Coffee Insights.